What's good YouTube? Welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be reviewing my new piece of cardio equipment I've just bought for my home gym and this is some maxi climber. So I'll quickly show you how it works, what it does and then I'll get into break it down to a couple of points I'll show you if I think it's worth buying or not worth buying. So let's get into it. Basically this is a maxi climber uh, Picked this up off Facebook Marketplace the other day. I've used it for about 60 minutes total, so I feel like I've got a good kind of understanding of how it works, what it does, and just how effective it is. So I'll quickly show how it works. Basically, there is a neat unclip USA. So the idea of this it's uh, something like climbing, like kind of climbing up a ladder sort of thing. So it goes this side is down, that side is up, and the same with the top bits. I'll quickly go on it now, show you as an example. There's two different things you can do on this, uh, and the one has a different variation. So, number one is use it for general use, which is the climbing part. The second variation of that is you can put your arm to the way around. And then the other variation is you can just use it as an actual stepper. So I've put your hands there, just moving your legs. And now let's get into the breakdown. So the first thing I'm judging on is ease of use. So can anyone use it? And I think they can. Um, I'd say anywhere between you're talking 10 to maybe like 65, something like that, maybe 70. Um, I feel like if you're younger than 10, one, you probably don't really need to be using this unless you just wanna watch your mom do it so you wanna have a go or something. But if you're over, say, 65, something like 70, it might be a bit more awkward to get up to that level and you might not be so stable. But yeah, definitely easy. Literally step on, grab, step, and then you're, you're ready for your workout. So for ease of use, I'm going to give it a four out of five. Yeah, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna write five things out of five, and then at the end I'll give you my overall score. So ease of use, four out of five, especially if you're in the age bracket, perfect, which I'm sure 95% of people that buy it are. Um, if you're not, you know, you might still be able to use it, it just depends on how you are yourself, how active you are on the stuff. Um, as well as that, um, there is a weight limit of 240 pounds, which is just over 17 stone. Um, I'm literally 16 and a half to 16 and three quarter stone at the moment, and I haven't had an issue with it. So it's probably, it says 17, 240 pounds, sorry, but I reckon you could easily do go to 250 or something. Like I said, I'm 235 pounds, and I haven't had a single issue with it so far. So next I'm going to go to calories burned. This is obviously quite an important thing when people buy in a cardio machine or a piece of cardio equipment, just because you want to get the most calories in a short amount of time. So you haven't got to do it for ages. Not a lot of people like cardio. I don't really like cardio, but it is what it is. So calorie wise for the show, you, um, it's got a dial on it here. Um, so this is calories at the moment, it's on 40 calories. Uh, then there's like one that goes through the whole lot. Then there's continuations. So this is how many times it's gone up and down, for instance. Um, see here, see that's one, two. Then we've got timer. So that's obviously how long you've been using it uh, actively. So as soon as you stop, it stops. So it's on five or two now. Um, and then the other one is total, total continuation. So it's been gone up and down 4,515 times in total. Uh, so as you can tell, the person I bought it off uh, definitely didn't use it that much. And then there's like so there's one that you can just have it where it'll literally go through all of them in a row. So calorie-wise, this will burn 10 calories a minute. So that's uh, 600 calories an hour, which is very good. Um, that's pretty much more than say just walking on a treadmill, more than like 
probably on par with an actual uh, Stairmaster um, rower maybe, it's fairly similar to that. But it's got, let's see how it gets spin around. So carry wise, it's definitely great. So I'll give it a five stars for five out of five for calories burned. Okay, next I'm gonna talk about muscles worked. So a lot of people, if you're not interested in going to the gym now and going to some muscle mass, you might just want to tone up, you know, um, lose some weight, be decently toned all around. And this is a great machine for that. Uh, muscles worked will be leg wise, You'll use your, especially when you're at the bottom, if you've got your toes, you're going to use your calves, you're going to use your quads, you're going to use your glutes, you're going to use quite a lot of your hamstrings. You're going to use all your leg muscles pretty much on this because there's a decent bit of resistance. Obviously, it's because of your body weight as well, so it's body weight relative. So if you're heavy, it's going to be harder. And then upper body muscles, uh, you're going to use your back and biceps by pulling down. Um, if you want that to help assist your legs, because that's the way to make it easier. As if you go, I think how to do this, as you do that, so you're pulling down, but you're also pushing with the other leg. So you're kind of like doing both at the same time. So you will work your back if you pull it that way. And if you hold it with your hands this with this grip, you'll hit more biceps. But it's not going to build your massive arms, but it'll definitely tone them up. Um, as well as that, so if you're doing it also to push at the same time, you'll also use you know, your shoulders and your triceps. So it will definitely tone up your upper body at the same time. So muscle work, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Definitely tone it up, be great for that. Uh, the only thing it'll probably, it won't hit is your chest. Um, and then obviously a couple of other little muscles, but your main muscle groups, you do definitely hit them and you are gonna get a bit of tonage. So that is muscles work. So next we're going to go on to cost. So these retail anywhere between £150 and £130. Go into Amazon or uh, Argos, them sort of places, they all sell the Maxi Climber. And price wise, I think £150, £130, it's not too bad. But luckily, I picked this up on Facebook Marketplace for £50, which is, I didn't even bargain with a person, so I probably could have got it for £40 maybe, uh, which is very good, especially at the moment how much cardio equipment's going, like pandemic wise, like you can be paying like double the amount of retail for cardio equipment. So this 50 pound, definitely worth it. I think 130, 150 pound, you may buy it, but I feel like it would be much more of an investment. I've probably watched loads more reviews on it and stuff and made sure I'm actually gonna use it. Where for 50 pound, like I will use it, but in case, I don't know, a month down the line, I'm not using it, I can sell it on and I'll probably make my money back, if not, maybe a bit extra. So 50 pound, perfect. Anything up to 100, I'd probably pay, but I probably wouldn't pay the other 150 pound. This week seems a lot of money for what it is, and you could probably pick some up a bit similar, maybe like a row machine for around that price, and that's probably one of the machines I'd rather have, but space-wise is a bit of an issue. So, pick it up if it's under 100 pound, I'll get it for 50, bonus. If it's 130, 150, maybe not. So, next review. Oh, for sofa cost, five, five stars. 50 quid, bargain. Next part of the review. Okay, so last part of the review is going to be storage. It's going to say how easy you can put it away because obviously space is quite a big deal with cardio. So, it's storage wise, you can literally, if you come in here, you can push this bit here. And drop these down to the smallest bit, same this side. Actually, it's just a, a press in. Okay, and by doing that, it's literally dropped the handles so low compared to where they were originally. And then you can also put your pedals up, and then for actual storage, we do is the thing here you pull this, pick it up, fold all together. And then it goes back here. And then this is your total storage. So it goes to about five foot maybe, five foot five in height, and then width wise less than a foot easily. And you can also just drop it down and store it under a bed or something. So Perfect storage wise, so storage is going to be about 5 out of 10.
five out of five, sorry, just because of the pure easiness of it. So out of the five points I've just said, it works out as 21 out of 25. So it's up there. It's one of the top pieces of cardio equipment in, uh, in my opinion anyway. It is great just because the storage is perfect. The cost, 50 pounds for cardio equipment is bargain. Like I said, if you get to around 100 pounds, still very good buy for what it is. Also, just the fact that the calories, one of the highest amount of calories you can burn in a car, other than if you're gonna like sprint on a treadmill or something, definitely worth it. Low impact as well, which is, helps a lot, especially if you've got injuries, sorts you out definitely with that. Like leg injuries, like I have a bit of sciatica and this is fine to use still, where if I was walking, that's when it, it pulls and it gets quite painful. Uh, it's also easy to use for pretty much the whole family. A little bit of adjustment that might take a minute at a tops, especially if like, you've got a couple of family members of different heights, different weights to use it. Very easy storage, like I said, bang it under a bed, put in a in like your hallway, or whatever, under the stairs, easy storage. It's just a perfect piece of equipment for reasonable money. So I definitely re recommend this. Um, if you want to pick them up, like I said, just Google Maxi Climb me, you'll see them. But check Facebook Marketplace. Like I've checked it since and it's one up for £70 right now. So I know I paid 50 but £70 is still good. And Facebook Marketplace, you can offer someone 60 and they'll probably take it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this one. If you want to know more about fitness or my sort of fitness journey, press subscribe, check me out. And yeah, until next time, see you later.